Hello, this is GeoTechLan, and today I'll be taking a look at Zorin OS 16 Beta Edition, which was just released today on April 15th by the team over at Zorin. Zorin OS is one of my favorite distros because I think their UI is very well designed and very beautiful. It's been quite some time since we've heard anything regarding Zorin, so I'm excited to take this OS out for a spin and show you what's new. One of the first things that you'll notice here is that the login screen now has a blurred image of your wallpaper as the background, which is nice. And keep in mind that while I'm testing this version of Zorin, this is actually running through GNOME boxes. So don't expect a showcase of the performance here. I'll save that for a future video. So the one thing you'll notice is that the UI looks different and actually looks a lot better. I think it's a lot more polished. And to think that Zorin OS already arguably had the best looking GNOME based desktop environment. They just got even better in my opinion here. It just feels that you're getting a very modern, beautiful, high class desktop experience here. If we take a look at the software center, which is still using the GNOME software center as its base here, you won't notice too many differences, but if you say try to download an app like Theme, for example, you'll notice that you have this new ability to choose which source you download. So you can choose Flathub or this Zorin repository. So in total, you now have the option of installing applications and selecting the source from Flathub, Zorin's local repositories, Ubuntu's repositories, and from the Snap Store. So you do get a lot of different options, which is neat. Zorin also includes a built-in app that gives you a tour of the OS itself. I think it should be very helpful for new users that maybe kind of breeze through the welcome or hit no thanks. One thing I can't show you right now is that on the laptop, they've improved touch experience. So now, for example, you can pinch on the touchpad with three fingers to open the activities overview and instantly see every app that's running on all your different workspaces. They've also created a sound recorder app. It's very simple and easy to use here. Another interesting thing is that they've redesigned their Zorin appearance menu here. Zorin has always let you choose different desktop layouts. So you can choose from many different options if you want a more sort of Mac OS feel, a more vanilla GNOME feel, or a more classic Windows XP look. And then you can go here and choose the theme and you can switch to the very nice, beautiful looking dark theme. It seems to still have the issue where it overlays um, if you switch to a different accent color. Like if you choose a red, for example, it makes the whole thing kind of have this like weird filter, whether it's like an orange filter. And it only seems to look fine if you click the blue or the gray option. That's interesting. Here you have options to choose interface. And the one cool thing is that they have a jelly mode, which actually lets you have wobbly windows, which kind of makes things very fun. I don't know how much I'll use it. I think it'd be nice to play around with it a little bit. I like the option nonetheless here. So overall, these are some very good refinements to the Zorin desktop environment, which was already pretty good to begin with. And I think the future looks bright for this OS. And of course, they've made a lot of performance improvements and other improvements that you can find on the official blog. I'll leave a link in the description below. So thank you for watching. If you're enjoying my content, you can subscribe to me on YouTube, PeerTube, and follow me on Odyssey. You can also support me on LiberaPay, Patreon, and by shopping at Earth Hero. See links in the description below.